Hello, hello, Tatum here and welcome to day 17 of my Reset 66 challenge. This workout is approximately 40 minutes long. It includes a large strength circuit of eight exercises with 10 minutes of cardio to finish. We will complete three rounds together working the major muscles of the body. This workout is perfect for those of you getting started on your strength journey. I have kept the exercises simple, but I will still test your strength. Now grab your dumbbells, a stability ball and stepper and let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, it's day 17. It's time to get started for this workout. I'm super excited, it's a large circuit. I have eight exercises for you, and we have about six minutes of cardio that we'll finish with at the end, uh, which I always like to do, but you can go out for a walk today if you prefer. So for today's equipment, um, let's see, I'll tell you what kind of weights I have. I have five, eights, 15s, and 25s. Now this is an intro video getting you started if you're just uh, joining us or joining or uh, starting your own fitness journey there. So some of this weight, just be cautious, go lighter, go body weight, and then add on as you go. As for the stability ball, if you have one, great thumbs up. We'll use the wall and do a squat there. If not, no worries. And I do have a stepper. You can use a small step stool if it's sturdy, a chair, a lower chair if it's also sturdy or your stairs at home, um, you could also do this with, all right? So we should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and warm up real quick. We're gonna tap it out here with some low jacks, just bringing those arms overhead and moving. Good, all right. Woo, I need this. I don't know about you, but I need this. I'm ready. I, we're gonna take these uh, intervals, mostly at 40 seconds. Um, we're gonna take it not easy, but it's not gonna be too crazy. I'm gonna try to not move us too quickly, but it is a large circuit, so we aren't gonna rest a lot between each exercise. We will have our rest after the circuit is completed. And we will aim for three. If you're just getting started and two is better, stay with two sets, it's okay. All right, nice work. Let's go ahead and come down to the middle here, rotate. My warm up is rather quick today, so please feel free to pause me and take more time uh, warming up yourself. Please do so, it's fine. Just hit play again when you're ready. Good, rotate. A couple more for me. All right, nice work. Let's come to the wall. I want you to just get into a little sit here against the wall. It doesn't have to be totally intense on the legs. Arms uh, against the wall, elbows, forearms, wrists. We're gonna slide up and down keeping everything nice and tight against the wall. If you get up here and your hands start to fall away, don't go as far, all right? Just move where you can. Some of us may not even get those hands back. That's okay, just do your best for now. We need to work on some mobility. Send me a comment, join our Facebook group. We'll help you out. All right, let's go five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Let's go ahead and stand. We're gonna do some abduction just out to the side and squeeze, just engaging the glute here. You might feel it into your quad. If so, come back a little bit, turn the toe in. I wanna get the bottom right now. Good. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, good. All right, other side. Oh, we're running out of time. One, I'm feeling this. Two, three, four. Try not to swing. Five, just lift, it's small. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, we have 30 seconds. Let's just do some uh, arm circles here. Get those shoulders warm while I talk. Our first couple sets here, or couple exercises, are gonna be lightweight, fives, eights, maybe tens for some of you who have been around and trained with me for a while. So for those, pick up the heavier weight. I'm gonna grab my five and eights to, or I'm just, you know what, I'm gonna come back and forth. We have something for on all of this, so I'm gonna start light here. We're gonna do a Y raise. Okay, so it's time to get started. You can go thumbs up, no weight. We're gonna make a little V for victory, all right? Or grab some light weights. Here we go, thumbs up. We're bent over with a nice neutral spine and we're raising those weights up and then lowering them back down with control right here. Hips are back, back is flat, no swinging motion. We have to lift and lower with control for that strength. That's it. 
You got it. 13 more seconds here. These are, these are 40 seconds long. Some of the splits, I did 30 on each side, especially for some of the core stuff. Three, two, and one. Rest, nice work. Now we're gonna go to rear lateral fly. So I'm gonna pick up a little heavier. We're still gonna go thumbs up. So our palms are gonna face out. So our thumbs are still going up towards the ceiling. Three, two, and one. Same position, bent over here, out to the side. Keep a little bend in that elbow. Keep it the same. We're flying out to the side. All right, nice neutral spine again. Squeeze and reach, there you go. And lower with control, less is more on this. If I start to swing and throw my body into it, I'm not going to get the strength gains that I want in my upper back here and rear delts. So nice and controlled. You got it. Eight seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, real quick, because this is all transitioning quickly. We're gonna do a wall squat here with our ball. And I'm just gonna demonstrate without the weights for now. You're gonna put this ball at the small of your back. Step your feet out a little bit so you're leaning back against the ball. And we're just gonna work on our squats, all right? For today, if you're new and you're getting started, we may just want this body weight squat. Get used to getting the ball against the wall, feeling comfortable with it. If you don't have a ball, just do a regular squat. No problems, all right? For some of you that have been training with me for a while, we may wanna pick up some weight next time with two dumbbells here by our side and get a little weighted squat if you're comfortable with the ball in that or just do your weighted squat at the floor. Three, two, and one, rest, good job. So I'm gonna keep that here. We have a modified side plank. All right, so we're gonna come down to our knees. I'm gonna show you the uh, modified versions of everything today. Going second round, we might step it up for some of those that are there. So right now, bent knees, knees in line with the hips, hips in line with the head lift, elbow under shoulder. This shoulder is stacked as well, so I'm not leaning forward, I'm not pushing my hips back. Hips fully extended here in line with my body, I hope. <laughs> All right, and we have those hips up, and I really want you to push through those hips. Push them nice and high to the ceiling, but try not to also push back. Keep them there, three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna switch to the other side, same thing. On the second round, I'll show you how to modify up and increase the intensity. Okay, here we go, line up again from your knees to your head. Elbow under shoulder, shoulders stacked. So don't put the hand here and use your hand. You want it on your side or up in the air. Push those hips up as high as you can get them, keeping them forward, don't let them tilt back. You got it, squeeze. Now if 30 seconds is too long, this is 30 seconds each side, you can take a five second break, just lower down five seconds and then come back to it. Otherwise we're here. Three, two, and one, rest, nice work. All right, we have a crossover step up. I'm gonna use a little bit of weight on this one, but let, well, actually, first time around, let's just do body weight. You can use a anything at home that you have to step up on, small stepper. We're gonna cross first that left foot over, bring the right foot to meet the left, the right foot comes down, left foot down. So left, right, right, left, okay? Left, right, right, and left. Crossing over all the way up. And again, for those who've been training with me, grab some weights. In the second, is the second, third round, we'll use some weight on these. For those of you just getting started, just get the movements down. All right, good. Eight more seconds, we'll switch sides. I kept the full one on this. We're gonna work those legs. Three, two, and one. Good job, step it over the other side. All right, so now I'm on the Right side of the stepper, I'm gonna bring my right foot across my body, left foot up, left foot down, right foot down. Right up, left up, left down, right down. Right up, left up, left down, right down. You got it, good job. I feel good, <laughs> really feels good. And the height of your step, you can pick something nice and low, just getting started. And then when you're ready, keep incre increasing that height. This crossover one's pretty tough. It doesn't require a really high step. 
and you get some weight on there, you're doing really well. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest, good job. All right, incline push up. We're gonna do the wall first. Some of us are ready to do it at the floor. Be my guest. Maybe it's your stepper, a chair, whatever it is. Let's find a wall for now. Especially if you're just getting started. Here we go. You're gonna angle yourself out and literally just push off the wall like you would a push up. The lower you go, the harder this is. The higher you go, the easier it is. So find that angle uh, that gives you a challenge, but that allows you to do your push up. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna show you this. I may go to my stepper later, maybe to the floor. We haven't done, I don't know about incline push ups in a while. Always good to do, kind of takes the weight off the shoulders a bit. Three, two, and one. And works down a little bit lower depending on where you are in the angle on the chest. So it's always good, even if you can do a full push up with the floor to practice. All right, we got a one arm dumbbell press and then we'll switch sides. Actually, let's alternate, but one at a time. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and go right, left, right, left, just alternate. Good, that's it. You got it. One at a time. Make sure that weight goes straight up over that shoulder. That's it. Next time we can do singles if we want, just one arm and then the left. Instead of holding two dumbbells here. So we may change it up. That's it. Nice tight core. All right, you wanna pull the, the belly in. Three, two, and one rest. Great job. All right, we just have one more here. It's a bird dog crunch. All right, so we're gonna come to the floor. You have the option to add the crunch or leave it out. We're gonna go one side for 30, other side for 30. All right, here's your bird dog. You're on your hands and knees, your shoulders are over your hands. In three, two, and one, I want you to reach the left hand up and the right leg, opposite arm and leg, set it down. Then you're gonna reach your right leg, arm up and left leg and set it down. All right, let's stay with one side. Let's go left arm, right foot. Left arm, right foot. Now, if you want that crunch, you're gonna come in, pull the knee to the elbow, then reach out. But before you try this crunch, I want you to make sure that you have good stability. All right, that's a switch. So right arm comes out, left leg up. So you can just practice down to the floor and up. If you have good balance and stability, you're gonna go ahead, bring that knee all the way into that elbow and crunch. There you go. That's it, really extend. Get that leg up there. Feel that glute in action here. That's it, good. This is our last one in this circuit. Three, two, and one, rest. All right. I gave us a little bit of time here. So go ahead and take it, grab a sip of water. And we'll get going. All right. All right, here we go. We're going back to the top, right? Back to the top. It's a large circuit. You've got a little rest in between. Let's grab those light weights. I'm gonna go ahead and bring them all over here too because I feel like I'm doing a lot of running back forward. Keep them close to you. We have that V raise for victory. It's really a Y, but a V sounds better for victory. Here we go, bend over, thumbs up. Form that V with your arms. And remember to lower. Nice and gently, smoothly controlled. You got it, lift, no swinging. So when you come back here, make sure you stop about at the sides of your body. I get a lot of back here. I get the swinging, okay? Stop, reset, and lift. Good control, you got it. Thumbs are up. So really your palms are facing in towards each other. Three, two, and one. Nice work. We have our rear fly out to the side. Bent over in the same position. If that's bothering your back, maybe just go without weight here, thumbs up, or you can lay down on the floor on your belly and lift up and down here, okay? Three, two, and one. Here we go, thumbs are up, so palms are out. Right here, out to the side. 
Try not to throw your body into it. Try not to swing again. When I bring it into the center, I'm gonna stop, do a dead stop, and then go out to the side so I don't get in this habit of swinging or finding momentum. Talking about that a lot. <laughs> There are power exercises where momentum is thrown in and power, and, but here we're trying to control it. We're trying to lift and lower with control. There you go. Three, two, and one. Rest. Nice work. All right, here's our Swiss ball. I'm going to use a little weight this time. Remember that ball needs to be in your lower, um, lower back so there's room for it to ride up the back so it doesn't end up at your head. <laughs> Here we go, walk those feet out. The ball at the small of your back, weight or no weight, it's up to you. It just depends on how comfortable you are getting in this position with your weight and your ball. And we're gonna squat it out. That's it. Up, down. You got it, good job. Again, if you don't have the ball, you're just squatting with your dumbbells away from the wall. Sitting back, you can use a chair, um, you could use your stepper to sit down to. Three, two, and one. All right, great job. Put those weights down. We have our side plank coming up, bent knees. That's your first um, priority is to get this here for 30 seconds or more. Um, with the bent knees. Remember, everything is lined up. If that's a little easy, kick one leg out and then lift those hips. All right, and if that's still easy, you can go toe to heel here. Just make sure those hips are lined up, that, that we're not rotating, pushing the hips back. Shoulders are stacked, and we're pushing up towards the ceiling. Good. Again, modify, go to the bent knee. I'm showing the progressions here because I know some of you have been training with me for a while and you're ready for it. Here we go. Start with bent knees if you'd like. If this is giving you a challenge, you're right where you need to be. Otherwise, step out one leg or both. You do you, modify, find your challenge there. We're all at different places. And really, honestly, it doesn't matter what you do as long as what you're doing is challenging. So don't get bent out of shape if you're here. Somebody, you have to start there. You have to. There's always a place to start. If it's making, if it's challenging you, then it's gonna make a difference. And that's all you need. Three, two, and one. I think sometimes we get too bent out of shape on trying to do what everybody else is doing. All right, we have our crossover step up. I'm going big on this one. I'm gonna try the bigger weights. Three, find some steps at home. I'm hoping that ball will stay there. <laughs> it may not. Here we go. Step over, crossover, runaway ball. Start your crossovers. I'm gonna go left side here. Left foot up, right up, right down, left down. Sorry about that. The ball has a mind of its own. <laughs> oh boy. It's been a crazy few days. There we go. You might know if it's a full moon. Crossover, foot up, that's it. Left, right. Right down, left down. Left up, right up, right, left. Three, two, and one. Do, 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 walk it around. Three, two, and one. Right up, left meets. Left down, right down. Right, left, left, right. You got it, cross it over. Bring it around. You can do this on your steps at home. You can do this with a small stepper in the house. And down, good. Cross, up, left, right. There you go. That's not working for you and you wanna do kind of a crossover front lunge to side, back to the side, you can do that too. All right, here we go. Time to rest. Woo. All right, we're gonna do push-ups, right? I'm gonna move that down. I'm gonna use, you can use your wall, you can use a chair, back of the couch, an angle that challenges you. I'm gonna go for this stepper. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Push-ups, 40 seconds. Do as many as you can. Find an angle that works for you. 
try out different places. A kitchen counter can work, depending on the height, the back of a couch, a sturdy chair, and the wall as I showed you last round. Just make sure, however wide or close your arms are, that those elbows are in line with the wrist. So if my wrists are in, my elbows are not flared out, they're in line. Three, two, and one, good. Shoulder press, this time let's do one at a time versus um, alternating. We'll try that. Three, two, and one. Here we go, we can just press. If you want to do the alternating that we were doing earlier with the other one at the shoulder, you can, maybe that felt kind of hard having the weight up there the whole time. So this way you can have a little bit of a break just using the one side. Three, two, and one. Good, switch to the other side. Here we go, press. Good, that's it. Again, pulling in, nice tight core, but keep a nice neutral back here and press. Notice how that weight's at the side of my shoulder. I press it up right over my shoulder, back down to the side. If you feel any pain, you can stop at your ear and press if it feels like it's pinching in there, okay? And that's time, good work. Bird dog, I should've just kept all my weights over here. <laughs> all right, bird dog, either with a crunch or not. Remember, left arm, right leg up and down or up and crunch. Here we go, follow my lead, reach, lift leg and arm, and then cross the knee and elbow together. Lift, cross over and touch. Now, I want good stability here and balance before we do this crunch. So if you don't have it, you're gonna reset, reach, get your balance, reset. Forget the crunch for now. Good, that's it. Really extend, really lift that back leg. Halfway, here we go. Other side. This is our last one in this bunch and we just have one more round. Now, maybe two is enough because you're really just getting started or because you're crunched on time. That's fine. Sometimes that happens. And if we're just getting started, a lot of times two rounds is really all we need. We've met our max, we're done. And that's okay. Three, two, and one. I would just recommend getting out there and moving, getting up from your desk, doing things to get going. All right, here we go. Bit over Y raise is up next. We're gonna go one more time through. In 17 seconds, grab a sip of water if you need it. I'm so excited. It's the last round, all right? So each one, I love last rounds because it's like, all right, that Y raise is done or V. v. It's really a Y's, but Y, but <laughs> if I could say V for victory, I'll do that. <laughs> all right, here we go. Three, two, and one. If we were laying down on an incline, which we usually do, our body does make a Y for the record. But <laughs> whenever I raise my hands over head here, I want to say V for victory. There we go. We'll just have to change that. Lift, thumbs up and lower with control. No swinging allowed. Not if you want some strength gains. There you go. That's it. Good V or Y, sorry. I'll teach you the correct one, Y. It's a Y raise, three two, and one. You'll hear me always say that. All right. Blah, 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 Tatum. <laughs> All right, arms out to the side. You could call this a T raise. Calling a rear lateral raise, but we're gonna bend over, palms out, okay? That makes our thumbs up here at the side. Squeeze. That's it, bent arms. On this one, I want you to think about pulling back a little bit, so trying to get that lower part of the shoulder blades to squeeze together. Good, that's it. Thumbs out. Try not to swing. <laughs> I think I was swinging a little bit. Trying to find some momentum there. You gotta be able to lift. So sometimes less is more. Less can be more when it comes to strength. Sometimes we think bigger weight's better. Not always. Three, two, and one. When we're trying to isolate, that's not always the case. All right, Swiss ball. Oh, come on, ball. Swiss ball, with or without weight, your call. Find the small of your back 
or just stand here and squat without the ball if you don't have it, all right? Regular good old squat. Two dumbbells. Just make sure that you feel the earth, the floor um, over your entire foot. So the balls and the heels. Make sure you're not rocking one way or the other. That it's all in your heels or you feel that you're up on your toes. Good. You got it. And that butt is traveling towards the ground, not back behind you towards the wall. Good job. I'm going to feel these tomorrow. Three, two, and one. Fantastic. We're done with that. We're done with the ball. I'm going to move it, slide it out of the way. We have our side plank. Oh, wait, I did use these weights again. Let's do this. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We have our side plank with bent knees, or we're stacked here, toe to heel. You can even stack your feet. Whatever you do, make sure you're there. Make sure that you can maintain the shoulder on top of shoulder, hips forward and up. Don't rush this one. All right, this is core strength. We're only as strong as our weakest link, so this all needs to be really good. Woo! Rest. Other side. So start with those bent knees, especially if you feel like you have to put your hand down. I really want you to be able to hold it for 30 seconds or more before we progress. So if this is tough enough, stay here. All right, we're up. Elbow under shoulder, shoulders stack, head to toes, all in line or knees. Hips are forward, don't push back. It's so easy to push back and it makes it easier. Don't do it, keep them extended here in line with your head. Woo, we got it. Come on, push those hips up and forward. Not that you're doing a back bend, but just that they're in line with that spine and head and feet. Three, two, and one. Rest. Woo! Good work. Crossover step up. All right, again, if you don't have a step at all at home, you could cross over here forward and push back. Just slightly different there. Here we go. And remember to start low. I'm going to start again on the side that I've been starting on, left side. Left foot up, right up, right down, left down. Left up, right up, right down, left down. There you go, so just trace it back. Left, right, right, left, you got it. Now, depending on your height, if it's really low, you might need weights already, even if you're just getting started because it's not challenging. If it's a little too high, whatever you have there, you probably just need body weight. Three, two, and one. Around to the other side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Right, left, left, right. Good job. That's it. Left down, right down. Right up, left up, left down, right down. You got it. Come tall when you stand. Here, I want that head to reach towards the ceiling. Hips forward. Good. Really push through that foot and heel. Good, you got it. Feel the difference when you push all the way through. Woo, good job. Three, two, and one. All right, these weights go away. Incline push up, some sort of incline at the wall, a chair, couch. Find something that challenges you. Three, two, and one. Here we go. If you go really wide with your hands, you're gonna feel a lot of shoulder. If you come in really close, like shoulder width, and tuck those elbows in, you're gonna feel a lot of tricep. So, I go middle of the ground today, somewhere in between that close, um, I don't know if you want to call it stance, but, and wide, so somewhere in the middle will be probably your strongest point. So we'll use that today. And I've been pausing at the top. For some of you, if you need more of a challenge, you get to the top, come right back down. Three, two, getting in, in as many as you can, and rest. All right, shoulder press. I'm gonna alternate each time on this one. Arm, yeah. I'm gonna stay with that my shoulder and just press one and then the other, but feel free, like our second round, 
just pick up one weight. Because it's a lot to hold this one here at your shoulder as well. So if you're a little tired, just work that right one for me. I'll tell you when to switch. And then you can switch that left arm. Three, two, and one. At your switch. Go to that other side. Mix it up a lot in here. <laughs> Trying to offer as much as I can to everyone that's tuning in. And thank you for tuning in. If you're enjoying this workout, don't forget to hit like on one of those rests for me. Here we go, come on. That's it, three, two, and one. Rest, great job. All right, bird dog crunch. Just work that bird dog without the crunch if that's where you need to be today. Getting started, we want balance control. On this one, I still want you to pull in under the navel. Here we go. Left arm up, right foot up, pulling in. Crunch if you're there. Reach out and down. Good, lift in, out. Sorry, I wanted to reset. If you're not doing the crunch, you're actually resetting back to the floor and then lifting and down. All right, good, that's it. I want you to zip up that belly button. I want you to pull it in and up. Nice and tight, squeeze that glute. That's it, that's gonna help you with your balance. We're halfway, switch sides, reach, crunch. If you're wobbling, pull, draw in the tummy. Squeeze your bottom. See if that helps you with your balance. You got it. Reach and lift. Lifting that back leg will help engage the glute. You have this side working isometrically. Three, two, and one, rest. Oh, it feels good. All right, one minute here. I want you to grab a sip of water. We're gonna start a little bit of cardio. I always like to finish with that. Now, if you're getting started and that was very tiring for you, just find a time to get your steps in later. No biggie, all right? If you need a little bit more today, stick with us. We're gonna use our stepper. I have a couple options for you. I'm gonna go straddle this and go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. If you don't have that, you can come here. We're gonna go out, out, and in. Out, out, and in. We're gonna have some step ups later too. So we are using our stepper or a step or something that you have at home, uh, a chair. If you'd like, you could do just a lateral step up here. If not, just do some jumping jacks move, all right? Three, two, and one. And you can always stop here and go outside or find a cardio machine and get your steps in later. Good. So no, not everyone has a stepper. So please feel free to do the out, out, and in with your feet. All right? Good. Now I've got my stepper a little high. You can make this lower and work this. It can be something very small. Three, two, and one. We're gonna turn it around. Regular marching step up. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, okay? You can stay with one side or the other. If you don't have a thing, maybe just march in place here for me. Get those knees up. Here we go. I'm gonna stay with one side and then lead on the second round with the other side. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're gonna jog in place here. Now, if jogging's not for you, even these little steps here, feel free to step it out with a side tap, jubby jack. Find something to do. Again, I'm just gonna keep mixing up. You probably have your own things that you love there. Go ahead and do those. Otherwise, we're gonna run it out here or jog. You can even march again and move those arms however you want. Just get moving. Three, two, and one. All right, we're back to this step up. In, in, out, out. Again, out, out, in, in, down low here. Walking it in and out, you have options. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my lead foot here. Good. Good, we got it. We're just gonna keep moving like this. Keep in a steady state. Um, not real high intensity, but movement. All right, here we go. 
March in place or follow me for the stepper. I'm gonna lead with my left side now. Good. March. Fifteen more seconds here. We're gonna go in that light jog. Or low jack, something. Where we're moving. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Low jack or jog. And you can move around. If you have the space, all right, you can stay in place. I want you to get those arms involved. Even if you're on those low jacks, really extend. Clap overhead, move that body. Good. You got it. Keep on working. Eight seconds. Good. Feels good, move those arms, pump them. Three, two, and one. We're back again, here we go. We're going about six minutes here with our movement, so hang in there. 30 seconds each exercise. And you can do this quicker with a little plyo jump. You can take it lower and move fast up and over. Good, that's it. Three, two, and one. Facing forward, here we go. Or give yourself a march there at home. So I'm going right, left, up, down. You can go and switch. Just never putting that other foot on, really pushing through high. There you go, have some fun with this. Some of you might have done step class back in the day. Maybe you still do it. Good, three, two, and one. Here we go, we're jogging, we're moving. Pump those arms. If you want, lift those knees up a little bit, make it a little more difficult if you need it. Up to you. Doing great. Whew. Come on. 15 more seconds here. That's it. Seven. I think we have one more round. We're gonna call it quits. Unless I did three. Three, two, and one. One more round. You can do this, come on. Even if you have to modify, even if you have to lower your step or stand a little taller on those out and ins. All right, up to you. Keep moving, keep getting those steps in for me. This is the push you need here at the end. Good. I always want to see if we can go that step further. Three, no pun intended here with the stepper. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna switch, march up, that's it. If you want, left, right, up, down, up to you. Mix it up, have some fun with it. Keep that heart rate elevated. Some of you may wanna jump. I don't know if you're there. Three, two, and one, nice work, here we go, last one. Hang in there, you got it. Woo, pump those arms, lift those knees if you need something higher, march it out, run it out, move around. Come on, let's have some fun. You're gonna finish nice and strong here. Pump those arms, let's do it. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, all right, grab a sip of water, high five. I need a quick sip, my mouth is dry. Throat is dry. And I've learned that when it's cold out, I drink more water when it's warm. I did not mean to bring my warm water out here though. When I'm exercising, I like it cool. <laughs> but just during the day, nice to have it the other way. A little warm, a little lukewarm. I know that's gross to most, but I like it. All right, let's just breathe in real quick, in through the nose. As we breathe in through that nose, I want you to bring it into the belly, feel it rise up into the chest, and then exhale all that out. Here we go, in through the nose, and then out through the mouth. And out. My yoga instructor was with me this morning at my class. <laughs> she says they hum for that breath. Mm, I don't know, <laughs> I couldn't get it. 
I know I've done it with her before, but I liked it. So people started humming. It was quite nice, actually. In and out. Here, you can blow it out, make some noise. One more, in and out. Great job. Let's go ahead, find your wall here. I'm just gonna have you bring your, your hand back and then just kind of twist out away from the wall. Not far, <laughs> it's kind of hard, right? You can get all the way to the wall if you need to. Lean in, feel that stretch against your shoulder and chest. If it's too much, come out a bit, but find a place that gives you a little stretch. Just make sure you're breathing. Hoo wee. You got a good sweat going, I don't know about you. Other side, maybe it's that warm water I'm drinking. Oh, I'm sore, be gentle, okay? Don't force this. Again, at least with um, stretching, you just need to feel it. Just start to feel it and stop there. Don't force it. I don't want anyone pulling a muscle because then you're out. Oh, but it's tight, it's tight. Oh my. All right, great job. <laughs> Let's go ahead and now reach behind one more on that chest and shoulders reach. You can grab a towel here, pull back. How are we doing on time? I didn't give us a lot of time for stretch, so if you need more, take it. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Your goal now, that was 40 minutes. Your goal now is to get another 10 to 20 minutes of walking and time on your feet. Please, go for it. You need it, you got it. You gotta get those steps up, you gotta move. And you might think you're moving, but Take a look at your steps if you have a watch. I'm wrapping around there, by the way. Just, oh, feels good. Let's go ahead, interlace our fingers, reach out, chin to chest, round that back. Do the math. See how much time you spend sitting between work, a drive, maybe driving the kids around, maybe driving to and from work. Let's go ahead, bring this over to the left, left ear to left shoulder. How much you're sleeping, how many hours you spend laying in bed how much time in the evening you spend sitting in a car or on a couch or in a chair watching your kids, you know, uh, practice their sports. And if you're sitting in a chair where your kids are just practicing, I want you up. I want you up and out, up and out and moving. If they're moving, you're moving. That's all I gotta say, all right? Okay, I know sometimes I have work and I like to do it while they're there and sit in the car, but don't do it. Make it time for you to get active as well. Get up and get your steps. All right, let's come down to the floor. No, we need legs, we need legs. Let's go ahead and wrap this right foot around the left. And I want you to let your hips flare right and then just slide down the left side here. We'll keep this simple. I'm running out of time, I'm sorry. Tock, 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 Tatum. There you go. Let's bring that left leg over, 20 seconds. I'm so sorry to see you go. Left hips out, left hip flares out, slide right. Really just keep you here for two hours if I could. There we go. Woo, feel that stretch. Oh, come back up. All right, that's it today. That's all we really have time for. I apologize if you have more time, go ahead and stretch some more. I'm gonna try to keep this a little short today as it's an intro workout, plus it's in during the week uh, that we are posting this day 17 for our Reset 66. Thank you so much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, I hope to see you back on day 18. Don't give up, don't give in. If you have any questions or knee modifications, let me know, I'm here for you. All right, thanks, bye-bye.